I think the uh, dress up days are going to get everybody in the Christmas spirit. Um, just kind of have fun before exams. Tomorrow through Thursday, the SGA has come up with dress up days to get you into the Christmas spirit. And in today's news, we'll tell you what the themes are. The basketball and wrestling team competed this past weekend. In sports, I'll tell you how they did. The choir will be performing their annual Christmas concert Thursday. In entertainment, we'll tell you all about it. These stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's THS TV. Sam and his reindeer have been lost in the school, and it's up to you to help find them. Good morning, I'm Sam Callahan. And I'm Constance McKnight, and this is THS TV. And now to today's top story. SGA members have hidden Miss, Mrs. Claus, Santa, Mrs. Claus, Santa, and his eight reindeer all over the school in a friendly competition to get students in the Christmas spirit. If you find one of these figures, you can take it, take it to Mrs. Holbrook's room in room 233 and receive a $10 gift card to Chick-fil-A. The contest, along with the dress-up days that start tomorrow, is SGA's way of getting people excited about the holidays. I think that these dress-up days are going to get everybody in the Christmas spirit. Um, just kind of have fun before exams, because, you know, that can be kind of stressful, and it's just kind of to lighten the mood and be, in, be happy before we get off a break. That's not all SGA is giving away. Members went to Walmart last night and purchased over $1,200 worth of toys to donate for the Toys for Tots Foundation. How are you getting into the Christmas spirit? Tweet at us at THS News TV and you can be featured on an upcoming show. The December banner competition is underway with a brand new set of hints. Remember, the goal is to find the most correct answers in the shortest amount of time. Include the full quote of the banner along with its specific location. Here are this month's clues. Number one, why didn't I get the results I wanted? Banner number two, how do you overcome obstacles and mistakes? And the final hint is, if it's not important to you, what do you use? To submit your answer, use the form on the THS website or you can turn it into Steve Walker. This month's contest ends Monday. Uh, we, we want it to be widespread and, you know, ultimately, again, it's the, the, the reason for the competition, of course, is to, is to get students to look up, to get everybody here at the school to look up and to read the banners and to and not only read them, but think about how those 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 quotes and those messages apply to their lives and how they may help them grow as people. Each month a student is recognized for the Warrior Excellence Award. Warrior Excellence is voted on by teachers to recognize students for acts of character and these acts often stretch outside of the school walls. THS TV reporter Brady Talber has a story. That's right when one student noticed there was a problem on the campus they took the initiative to pick it up. One piece of trash at a time. This month, the faculty chose a Warrior Excellence winner who took action outside of the classroom. Andrea Munoz was nominated by a faculty member after they noticed her cleaning the campus on her own time before school. Dr. Hester had been saying that we need to start keeping our campus clean and I came off the bus one day and there was trash everywhere so I just picked it up. Munoz went around the bus canopy searching for litter that didn't belong. The faculty member that nominated her said she filled up a plastic bag and then sat down and went back to work, expecting nothing in return. And although Munoz has already been recognized for winning the award, her actions are once again not going unnoticed by the man who encouraged students to take ownership into their own hands. And it was self-driven, you know, so that's what makes me most proud that it wasn't something that was asked of her. She did it because she takes ownership in our school and obviously she ha she cares about our school. She loves loves Thompson High School enough to to uh, to pick up trash and to make it look a little better. Dr. Hester also stressed that he believes any student can make a difference while on the campus. To to those students who see things that they want to uh, that they want to see improved, they can they have the power to do so. If they don't know how to do that and they need a little guidance and how you know they can they can see me they can see their teachers they can see any of our administrators here if you are like Munoz and notice a problem that you would like to fix on the campus Dr. Hester's email address along with many other faculty members is on the school website reporting for THS TV I'm Brady Talbert 
You can watch this story again on our YouTube channel and tune in next month for more Warrior Excellence Award winners. I think that these dress up days are going to get everybody in the Christmas spirit. Share their reactions to the latest happenings. Hashtag Walking Dead has 165,000 tweets talking about the relationship between Negan and Carl in last night's episode. Fans are displaying their opinion through memes, opinionated tweets, and gifs on Twitter this morning. You can get in, the conversa get in on the conversation by using the hashtag Walking Dead. For more information on the Walking Dead trend, you can search the hashtag on Twitter. And keep tuning in to THS TV for more trending topics. Now let's take a look at other hot topics in today's national headlines. Trump offered up another position this past weekend, this time to Ben Carson. He gave him the position of HUD, Human and Urban Development. A victim of a recent shooting was a correctional officer in New York City. He was killed just sitting in his vehicle. The Dakota Pipeline has officially been rerouted and there are tears of joys and chants of happiness all around. Uh, I was at the game on Friday, actually I had a chance to commentate it and it was really exciting. It was a um, jam-packed uh, student section and I know the Warriors were able to get a really important win. Yeah, I know. Obviously, it was Oak Mountain. Uh, it's a you know rivalry game to us, you know, from to a sorts. And uh, obviously, we had had three games that week, and uh, it was good for the all the students to come out and for us to get a victory. You, I've got more in today's sports. But first, we've got your needs to know in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. On THS TV. The high school football season might have ended, but college season is still going. In today's sports, I'll give you an update. The seventh grade volleyball team was honored for their achievements this season. Stay tuned to find out why. You're watching THS TV, your source for sports. The wrestling team returned from the Border Wars tournament, placing fourth out of 24 teams, only three points shy of a top three finish. The Warriors outscored in-state rival Vestavia Hills by 38 and a half points. Eight out of the 14 wrestlers in attendance took first in their division. The rest of the team took part in the Leslie Burnett duels, placing third and only losing one duel in the process. The Warriors traveled to Tuscaloosa County tomorrow and Mountain Brook Friday and Saturday, as well as the Iffen Classic in Tennessee. Friday night, the boys and girls basketball team played Oak Mountain at home. Both teams took early leads and held on to the lead for the rest of the game. With the win, the boys improved to 3-5 and five, while the girls moved to 4-3 and three on the season. Both teams play at John Carroll tomorrow at John Carroll. The college football season has come to a close and the playoff picture is set. The top four teams are Alabama at 1, Clemson at 2, Ohio State at 3, and Washington at 4. Over the weekend, the Alabama Crimson Tide beat the Florida Gators to claim their third straight SEC championship. The Clemson Tigers defeated the Virginia Tech Hokies in the ACC championship, and the Washington Huskies defeated Colorado in the Pac-12 championship. 
The semifinals will be played on, the new, on New Year's Eve with Alabama facing off against the Washington Huskies in the Chick-fil-A Bowl and the Clemson Tigers facing Ohio State in the Fiesta Bowl. Many fans already have their predictions. Well, it's going to be a lot different than uh, the SEC Championship. Um, both teams are really fast-paced offenses and great defenses, and uh, I just think it's going to be high scoring, and it should be a fun game. Who do you think will make it into the championship? Tweet us at THS News TV, and you can be featured on an upcoming show. That's all for today's sports. Tune in Friday for a recap of this week's basketball games. Now back to Constance with more news. Today marks the start of National Computer Science Education Week. This week is dedicated to shedding light on the importance of understanding and being able to work with computers. There are currently over 500,000 open computing jobs nationwide. Last year, only 42,000 computer science students graduated into the workforce. In honor of National Computer Science Education Week, THS is sponsoring an Hour of Code. The Hour of Code is a global movement reaching tens of millions of students in over 180 countries. To participate, go to code.org slash learn to see the variety of coding opportunities. If you have any questions available, email Dewana Shears. Nathan Button is an involved faculty member of the History Department and Soccer Program. Follow reporter Sammy Chatham as she highlights Coach Button and his responsibilities around our school. Uh, the kids here, um, they're not cookie cutter kids. We have all kinds of different kids uh, and it's fun to have that different group of people together all striving for the same goal. Mr. Nathan Button, also known as Coach Button, is a widely known name around Thompson High School. This teacher, soccer coach, husband, father of two girls, and farmer has a lot on his plate, and he works hard to do great in all aspects of his life. He starts his day, as most people do, with a plate of food and a mission to get everyone in the house ready for the day. Once he gets to school, Coach Button teaches AP history and helps kids reach their full potential through their academics. I love the challenge. Uh, and that's, that's something that I missed. I know the graduation exam has gone away and it wasn't that big of a deal, but there was always a challenge to see how many kids you could get to pass and who you could get to be successful. And so with AP, having that test at the end, I really like the challenge of getting kids to, to buy in and do what they need to do to be successful and seeing how it, how it all plays out. When he isn't teaching, Coach Button is being just that, a coach. He is the varsity girls soccer coach and his team stays winning titles year after year. Again, I love the challenge. Uh, you know, we're... As, Tom, as a Thompson team, we're always one of the best teams in the state, uh, and it's fun to get to compete at such a high level and see what these girls can accomplish because they're, they're so dedicated uh, and committed, uh, and it's just they're a great group to be around, uh, and it's fun to see the things that they can accomplish when they decide they want to do it. Once the day is done and Coach Button's many responsibilities have been established, he goes home to be with his family and prepare for the next day, which is another opportunity for him to be a warrior. I love my job, uh, but the kids are good. Uh, my coworkers are very professional. Coach Button and I have a, a, a pretty special relationship. Whenever I first came back to Thompson, he was my, my mentor teacher. Uh, and really helped me a lot, really getting started, walking me through uh, really the basic stuff. For more spotlight features on great teachers and students at our school, keep tuning in to THS TV. From THS TV, I'm Sammy Chatham. So uh, obviously the Christmas parade this, this weekend and uh, there was a good turnout. And it was obviously early in the morning, but it's always good to see the floats and different things that go on. Yeah, I was, I was able to go, but I didn't. Um... Waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning was not really good for me to go to parade. It was a little cold outside, <laughs> yeah, too. It's, so. it's definitely early, but, it, I mean, it's cool. You know, it goes through most of the city, and uh, it's to see different the floats and people walking, and it's just always a fun thing, to, uh, for a fun turnout in Alabaster, I would say. I agree. I got more in today's entertainment. But first, Madison, how's your local forecast in today's warrior weather? We'll be right back. Come on, THS TV. The theater department participated in the state trumbire competition this past weekend. I'll tell you how they did in today's entertainment. December just started, and with December comes the 25 Days of Christmas movies. Stay tuned to hear all about it. This is THS TV, Thompson High School's source for entertainment.
Good morning, I'm Madison Ram and this is your Warrior Weather. Today we'll have a high of 60 and a low of 55. It will be cloudy with a chance of rain. Tuesday, the temperature will drop even lower at night with 44 and a high of 61. Come Wednesday, look to see a bit of sunshine. The high will be, be 60 with a low of 45. The rest of the week will be fairly similar, although temperatures will drop even more with a high of 47 and a low of 24 with a chance of rain on Thursday. On Friday, the high will be 42 and a low of 23. Both days will be equally chilly with cloudy skies and chances of rain. That's all for today's Warrior Weather. Stay tuned and in for a look at your bus stop forecast. Gun, the choir is up next. The choir will be hosting their annual Christmas concert this Thursday, December 8th in the auditorium. The concert Womans and Magicals Choir will all perform classic Christmas carols. The concert will begin at 7 p.m. and tickets are $3 and one for one and $5 for two. Citizens of Alabaster share the joy of this weekend in the annual Alabaster Christmas Parade. The theme for the parade was the joy for Christmas and participants incorporated the, this theme into their floats. Judges awarded multiple into, in, entries of the festivities. Joy's Dance Company won the best use of theme category and Champ's famous fried chicken was considered most creative. Dance, Dance ET criteria won most entertaining and the best walking entry was Ortho South. Lastly, Alabaster Jazz Asides won best holiday spirits. Which flow was your favorite? Tweet us at THS News TV. Tom to Theater 2 will be performing the Christmas play in the Steadfast 10 Soldier on December 7th during second period. Tickets are five dollars and will be sold in the lunchroom today and tomorrow. The performance will begin in ten minutes after the second period tardy bell. All proceeds will go towards establishing a scholarship at UAB department in the theater. Alan Gardner's name. Mr. Gardner was the theater teacher here for two years at Thompson. He founded South City Theater in City Equanity, Equanity Theater in Birmingham. Music, movies, and more. We got gossip in today. Later latest new celebrity in today's Hollywood headlines. So around Hollywood this weekend as a filmmaker and television producer, Lee Daniels received the, the 2,595th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame Friday, honoring a career that has included a Best Director Oscar nomination and co-creating Fox hit hop drama Empire. Country star Luke Bryan took care of a heckler without skipping a beat during a concert this week by taking a swing at a man from the stage with his microphone still in hand. Brian was performing his single move at the Charlie Daniels All-Star Volunteer Jam in Nashville, Tennessee when the outburst occurred. Fan video shows Brian shouting, come on, before stepping forward and slapping the man with his fingers while still holding onto the mic. No charges were filed on the slub country singer Luke Bryan. Kanye West has the support and love from K wife Kim Kardashian as he continued his recovery following a more than a week-long hospi hospitalization for his exhaustion. The rapper was released from UCLA Medical Center Wednesday and has been treated as an outpatient and spent time with his family. That's all for today's entertainment. Tune in on Friday for more information on Directing Class's new game show. Now let's talk to Gracie with today's Christmas Spotlight. only 20 days away and that means movie time for all the Christmas lovers. Freeform, formerly known as ABC Family, is holding their 20th annual year of 25 Days of Christmas Movie Countdown. Today, Freeform will be showing National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, starring the famous Griswold family taking on the holidays at around 7. On Tuesday, they will be showing a classic, The Polar Express, where kids take a journey to the North Pole and see the true magic of Christmas, which will be playing from 7 to 9 p.m. On December 7th, Buddy the Elf will be taking a trip from the North Pole to find his real father in the movie Elf, playing at 7. Another movie you're playing this day will be Disney's Christmas Carol, starring Jim Carrey as Scrooge. This movie is based off miserable Ebenezer Scrooge, not liking anything to do with Christmas, but is taken on a journey to see his past, present, and future, and change his mind about the holiday cheer. You can see this movie right after Elf. 
Finishing up the week, Frosty's Wonder Wonderland will be playing from 11 to 11.30 p.m. This short film is a sequel of the 1969 special Frosty the Snowman, where Frosty comes alive all thanks to his new top hat. These are not the only movies playing this week. For a full list, you can go to freeform.go.com. That's all for today's Christmas Corner. Tune in on Friday for more seasonal things that would get you in the Christmas spirit. Now back to Sam with more news. The Thompson Middle School 7th grade volleyball team won their Metro Championship Tournament this year. This title is the first won by a Thompson volleyball team in a number of years. Because of their hard work, Alvester City Schools honored the 7th grade program and gave each girl a certificate at the Alvester Board of Education meeting on November 29th. Dr. Vickers said, quote, You represent our school system and our middle school so well, not just on the court, but in the hallways of the school and in the community too, end quote, which just symbolizes the potential this group of young girls have in their future. So um, obviously, she was, or excuse me, Gracie was talking about those movies and all the Christmas yes, movies. Yes, I'm super and excited. I can't wait to go watch the um, Christmas vacation movie. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm very excited for that. And of course, the um, uh, I can guess the Grinch that's going to come in Thursday. I'm yeah, super excited. I, you know, obviously the Polar Express has always been a favorite. Yeah. Just, you know, I remember um, first grade and we go and we'd have a pajama day. We'd have a hot chocolate and watch the Polar Express. So I'm excited. We've got you covered on all your latest movies. Now, Madison will help make sure you're prepared for the morning commute. Madison? For those having to rise early tomorrow morning, the temps are looking chilly. At 6 o'clock, temperatures will be around 60 degrees. Temps will drop slightly come 7 o'clock, and they will hit around 58 degrees and continuously stay around there for the rest of the day. That's all for your bus stop forecast. Now back to you guys. So we play uh, Pelham Friday. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited. Big rivalry game. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, this is my first year at school, and I'm going to get to go see the big rivalry everybody's going to talk about, so I'm definitely excited to go make an appearance, see what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, I mean, it's the first year, uh, you know, it's the guys that are, you know, under uh, Coach Cheatham his first yes. year, and so uh, they're continuing to improve, and a big win Oak Mountain. Hopefully they can uh, continue the momentum through the week. They yeah, that, totally. They got that big player, uh, Alex Reese, who's really nationally yeah. ranked, and he committed to Alabama, so that's a big challenge for us, but teamwork. We'll get it. Uh, I think we can uh, take them on, hopefully so. That's all for today's news. Tune in on Friday to find out the banner winner. And follow us on Twitter for updates on events happening at THS this week. Have a great day.